Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the video. So today's video, we're gonna be getting into some settings. Um, we're gonna be showing you guys what I think is the best settings for new players or like people new coming in, coming into Apex Legends. And um, over time, I've been like experienced with a lot of things, and I've been like touching on a lot of my settings. And um, I feel like I'm at a very comfortable spot right now. All I have to do is get used to everything and get everything down pat, muscle memory and whatnot. And um, I feel like these settings would be really good for you guys. So if these settings help you out, let me know down below. And um, also, hit that like button. And um, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. And if you don't enjoy the video, also let me know why. I appreciate the feedback of knowing why I did something wrong or why I'm bad at the game. And um, it always helps to help me get better. And um, for you guys that don't know, I do stream over on Twitch at Zayvert. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. And um, yeah, if you guys want to support me, and um, you can just come over, stop by, vibe in the chat, chill in the stream. And um, yeah, just watch me play Apex Legends and other games live. So without further ado, let's get right into the settings. So first off, we got the interact prompt style. This basically tells you, it displays more or less information about weapons, items on the ground. Um, if you're new to the game, you might want to use default, but if you're, if you already know what everything does in the game and like know all the attachments or whatnot, um, you could just put on compact. It makes everything a lot easier. Like as you can see, it just says it's a knockdown shield and like this and that. It doesn't have like that big old HUD as if you were to have it on. This is what it looks like with it on. It has that big old HUD and it, it reads out what it does. And, um, it just takes up a lot of screen and the space, uh, space on the screen. So I would turn this off. Um, if you if you know what everything does, I would just turn this off. And um, see how much room you get on the screen afterwards to like see everything. And um, yeah, that's what that does. So for the second one, the button hits, you can turn these on or off. Um, it basically tells you like if you look down at my ultimate or my um, throwing jump pad has the buttons and like as my weapons as well has the buttons like which button to press for those. If you already know your keybinds and thing and um, you use everything, you can turn it off and this is how it looks like with it off. Everything's gone and um, yeah. That's basically what that does. For the next one, we got the crosshair damage feedback. I would turn this off if you are um if you know the game, like if you're if you're a vet player, you've been playing for a long time, pretty good at the game. I would say turn this off. But if you want something on, I would say turn it on with X and shield icon. So you can see what type of shield they're wearing or whatnot. I think I actually I think this doesn't matter. I think you can still see what shield they're wearing. But um this this basically gets like it just shows like you your hit marker, your hitbox, everything in a way. Like you can see the little X and all that. If you turn this off, you won't have the X in your way. It'll just be and um it, it helps you it helps improve your accuracy. I think it uh, greatly improves your accuracy. Especially if you're far, you won't have nothing black in your line of sights. And um yeah, so that's why I would say turn crosshair feedback damage off. Damage numbers, I would say put it on stacking or uh, or both. Well, no, I would say stacking. A lot of people use floating or both, but I would say keep it on stacking. This is like one output and um if you put it on to floating or like one individual number for each hit that's that's kind of hard to do the math and everything so you won't know precise damage numbers and yeah and with both you will be able to see both so you'll get to the outcome, and, like, like little faded numbers of what you're doing on the top of it but i'll just say you stacking stacking is uh better than having both because it's pretty much the same thing, it's just the and one damage output. So yeah, I would say use uh, stacking for this. Ping capacity, I would say keep it on faded so it won't take up as much stuff Let's on the screen. Here. You don't want anything black in your line of vision, your line of sight, or anything black on the screen. As you can see, I pinged and um, it's like faded. Now if I put this on default, it'll look like this. Aki, over it's here. like very bright and it's in your way, it's on your screen, like it could probably throw you off, catch your eye or something, throw you off. But um, I would say use faded or default, it doesn't really matter, I would say use faded, I'm using faded. Now for obituaries, this is basically the kill feed, you'll see that over in the top left corner. Um, When you're in the game, so like if you're in a match, it'll be like, this person killed this person, that's basically what obituaries is. For minimap rotation, a lot of people may not know what this does, this basically rotates your character like rotates the map as your character view and it, I would say that this is a bad setting to have on 
you might like this setting if you're like used to like mini map rotation on COD or like stuff like that. But I would say don't have this on. I'll say keep this off. Um, waddle. I said waddle. Weapon auto, auto cycle on empty. I would say to have this on to like watch this. Like I'm gonna spray it and then my gun automatically swaps. I like it. So it's like. Once you run out of the ammo or the clip for that gun, it automatically switches your weapon. Unless you have no ammo in the other weapon. That's very good, especially in fights up close and like hectic fights. You guys are, are some of you guys may forget to swap your weapons. I know I do sometimes. And um, that setting just saves me sometimes. I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's very useful, very helpful. I will recommend you guys using that setting. Um, auto sprint. I use it. A lot of people say don't use it because you won't be able to, you won't be able to, uh, walk or pull your weapons off faster but really guys i don't see no difference in it but if you guys want to have it off you can turn it off and then use your sprint key or whatever but i i use auto sprint um i just find it better double tap to sprint you don't want this on unless you're like playing like a war zone type of vibe if you used to war zone like double clicking the shift button or whatever your sprint button is you can have this on but i would say keep this off you don't want to like double tap a button just to sprint and coming damage feedback this is basically when people are shooting at you it tells you like what ray or angle it is so like if someone's shooting at me like over here need some extra juice me, if they shoot it's me it'll be behind me like it'll be like a triangle behind me and um yeah that's basically what that is if you want to use 2d or 3d it's up to you i find 3d to be more precise than 2d when it comes to that but it basically just tells you the direction that people are shooting you in um yeah i would say use 3d Take it damage, close death boxes. You don't want this. You don't want this on because if you get shot while trying to show swap or grab some ammo or something, it'll take you out and it might mess you up, and you might be able to get that off, and uh, you could result. It could result in you dying. So I would say keeping this off. Um, hop up, hop up. If you know what the hop ups do, you don't need this on. Um, you can just turn it off. It basically just tells you what the hop ups do and what they're for. Streamer mode. Everybody knows the streamer mode, so I'm not gonna go over streamer mode. Anonymous mode. This basically hides the people hides i think it hides the people no 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 okay shimmer mode hides your name i believe and then anonymous mode hides everybody else's name so yeah that's basically the difference between these two so if you don't want your name to be popped up it, it won't show you put this on enable you it won't show your name it'll just be like wraith one two three or caustic four nine five whatever that's what that's what happens when you see these people with these things on it's they're using streamer mode and anonymous mode Usage sharing. I don't know what this does, but it basically just sends it basically just sends feedback to EA, and um, it's up to you guys. You want this on or off? I turn it off. Performance display is good to have on. This is the thing you see in the right corner. This is how many frames I'm getting, the latency, the packet loss, the input and output. It shows everything in the top corner. So your game is lagging, or you're getting choppy, or you like, oh, you look at your frames. You play my frames are low, that's why my game is getting choppy and laggy. Or you play, oh, the packets are getting lost, or oh, the latency is like very high or bad server or something. So this is basically what it does, it just displays everything over in the top right corner. It tells you how much frames you get. And I would say, uh, I would say use it. It's pretty good. It lets you guys know what's going on without having to go and let do a deep search. But um, is that everything over here? No, okay. Club invites. This, you could just have this on if you want to have color bites. That's basically what it is. Color by mode. I use a Trinopia. This changes the color. So I'm going to put it on off. And this is how everything looks off. You know, blue looks blue, purple, everything. If you turn it on, everything looks more like neon and vibrant. And that's like a vibrant more. It's like more vibrant colors. I like it. Uh, I'll recommend you guys trying it. It's actually pretty cool. It's like it makes everything looks more eye candy and eye popping. I like the colors. Uh, subtitles. I used to have these on, but now I turned them off because it takes up uh, a lot of space on the screen. And um, like I said, you guys might not want that. And um, if you guys just like subtitles, I'd say keep them on. But it's all it's preference based for that one. I don't like it because it gets in the way sometimes. And uh, yeah, I would say turn subtitles off. But then you got the subtitle size and. Um, Enable access to chat, favorite, chat features. This is um the menu navigation of chat features. It's like basically if someone like uh I forgot what it does. If someone 
it's like the Texas speech or whatever. You want you don't want that on. It's like if someone's talking, it like plays a little robot voice or for whatever for you. This is what this does as well. I would say keep all these off, all three of these off, because you don't want like any. I mean, unless you want it, I don't know. I don't know what you guys prefer, but I don't. I don't like hearing like little robots in my ears, especially when people are being toxic and spamming weird stuff in chat. I would say turn all this off. So guys, let's get over into my mouse and keybinds. Um, so first off, we got the mouse sensitivity. We got at 5.0. This is the default mouse sensitivity for Apex. Pretty sure they set you off at 5.0. ADS mouse sensitivity, I got it at 5 for the normal. And then for the ADS, I got it at 0 0.8. I got it two ticks down from 1. A lot of people use 1.3. I never use it, but I prefer to use 0 0.8. I feel like it's pretty comfortable at 0 0.8. I got pretty good aim at 0 0.8. So yeah, um, try these out. Tell me how you like it. If it helps, let me know. I hope it does help. Um, mouse acceleration off. You don't want this on because you want to control everything to your pace and your speed. You don't want your mouse accelerating over time or being quicker than what you expect it to be. You want every all of these off unless you like. I mean, lighting effects. If you have a, a RGB keyboard and mouse, this connects to the game. And like, if you pop in a bat, it'll be blue or whatever. It'll just be the colors of the game that you see. Um, but the mouse acceleration and mouse invert, I would say keep these off. I can't. I don't. I never met anybody that could play with mouse invert on. Um, but the acceleration, I've seen some people use it, but I don't recommend using it. You want your raw input of your control over the mouse. So yeah, I would say keep that off. Now for the movement, we got WASD all in default. Uh, you should never change those unless for some reason you want to and it's weird but uh, WSD sprint is shift my space I have two space buttons I mean I have two jump buttons it's space and scroll it down scroll it down helps a lot when you want to wall jump zip line bounce and uh, B hop I would say using scroll it down or up or just binding your jump button to like one of those two um, because it helps out a lot when you want to when you want to wall jump or whatnot. And it, I'm telling you, it really helps out a lot with your wall jumping and your b-hopping. Um, like, if you want to b-hop, this is what a b-hop is. I'm not really good at it. And then wall jumping. Here, let's go to the wall. Oh, I missed that one. I basically a wall jump. I didn't have enough speed there, so that was bad. So basically you just slide into the wall and then jump off of it as soon as you attach the wall. That's a wall jump. And if you have scroll wheel, if you have scroll wheel um fine to jump, this is very easy. I don't know why you climbed the wall there. So yeah, that's basically what wall jumping is. Um I would say have your scroll wheels bound to uh one of the buttons up or down on your scroll wheel bound to jump to have better wall jumping and uh, b hopping. Now for your crouch toggle, it's C. This is like if you want to just stay crouched. This is good for like if you want to rat or like play safe and like get your teammates badge to say your your teammates die or whatever. You gotta get their banners or whatnot. You want to stay in one spot and be quiet. Just hold push that uh, crouch button. I have it at C as default. I believe that's the default one. But for your crouch. Hold, this is what you're going to be using most of the time, like with your movements and your crouch sliding, jump sliding, etc. Um, you will want to use the left control. That's what I use. A lot of people, I've seen some people using the, uh, I see some people use C for this as well. But I would say use uh, left control because you got, you can use your pointy finger for other things on this side. Uh, like the, around WHD, instead of having to press C and not be able to strafe left and right. So weapons and abilities, we got the tactical, I kept it on Q, it's default on Q. My ultimate is Z and it's also bound to my mouse button 5. Um, if you guys have mouse buttons on your on your mouse, I would recommend, highly recommend using those. They help out a lot and they make everything a lot more easier. It provides you more access and more utility to be able to use those and not have to press so much buttons with your left hand, you can use your right hand. My interact is at F. I use it as F because it's so easy to interact with F and touch F while also keeping a constant pace of movement around the map. 
Um, I'm used to F. Uh, I switch. I always switch from F. It used to be it default is E, I believe, but I switched it to F. I just feel like F is the most useful thing for me, and I feel like it's most comfortable for me. So if you guys were looking like for something for that, I would say go ahead and give it a try. Let me know if it helps you or not. Um, yeah. So for the alternate interact, I don't use this for anything, but this is basically like if you want to pick something up, and um, it's it. To not put on your gun or your weapons or whatever, you just put it up and it'll instantly go into your book bag, I believe. Um, my inventory button, a lot of people use tab. I think the default is tab, but I use X and I also have it bound to I. Um, my map is tab. My my attack button or my shoot button is uh, right click, no left click. And um, my toggle fire mode, this is basically switching, like if you have a hop up, like a select fire or something. Like for this, you see it's like charging up, and then if I press B, it turns it off. Turns it off, so I don't charge it up. It's just a normal. Uh, that's what toggle fire mode is. I got that bind to B. Aim down sights. I don't use toggle because I like to hold my aim down. It just feels weird toggling it. I'm, I'm not, I don't know if you guys are used to that or not. It just feels weird toggling. So I have it on hold, and that is right click. My melee button, I have it on my mouse button 4. This helps out a lot. Uh, especially because it used to be V. And V is hard to hit for me. Like while keeping a constant movement and all that. So I changed it to my mouse button 4. It helps me out a lot, guys. I would recommend using your mouse buttons for your your melee, your grenades, or your like quick kills or whatever. My reload button is R. Never change that. My, re my weapon cycle. Um... This is like basically switching between weapons. Like if you switch from the triple take to the vault, it's like basically that's all it is. I get to scroll it up. It helps out a lot in fights. I don't have to press a button, um, like one or two or three or whatever. I find the scroll wheel to be really easy for that. So uh, I would say use that. It's very comfortable. It's very easy. All you gotta do is push up on your scroll wheel. Um, all of these are on default. My grenade is at G. My you select the health item is E. So that is like if I want to use a bat or something, I would uh, press E and I'll go to like the, the med wheel. You got to hold E. I find this to be very good and very easy to use because it's right next to your W. And um, you can just easily press that with your index finger and use your heels. For everything else, it's on default. Um, character, character utility is basically like if you have a gun shield like with Gibby or one of them. You would uh, be able to turn it on and off, which I don't know who would turn their gun shield off while using this overpowered tank. <laughs> Here comes but if you have it, you see it says toggle arm shield. If you turn it off, it turns it off. Same thing for like crypto with his drone. Like if you're on his drone, press H to recall it, I believe. But yeah, that's basically what that is. Um, everything else is on default. Emo is an F1. My ping is, oh yeah, my ping is not on default. My ping is my middle like mouse button if you click the mouse in the scroll wheel on the mouse button if you click it in it pings so that's basically what it does let's go here i'll still right here double tap at the pink enemies you can hold it no oh, wait which one okay if you hold it you get to pull up everything else so looks like, like some people here, been blah, here blah, 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 gonna defend this that. area so uh -huh. here. don't run when they see me um i push the talk is t i have that on t because it's, it's very easy to touch and it's not like I'm going to be holding push to talk all the game. So if I just want to say something, I'll hurry up and press T. Um, to type in chat, it's enter, screenshot, F1, character info, I don't have none of that on. So for controller, I don't use the controller anymore. Guys, I switched over. I'm fully mouse and keyboard. And um, everything's set to default. I have an old video from season 5 or season 6, I believe, on my controller settings. But if you guys want to go check that out, it would be um, in my channel. Um, but yeah, I don't use those settings anymore. I don't use control anymore. But if I was using control, I'd probably still be using those because I was really comfortable, very good with those. I found those a long time ago because I started Apex out on controller. So if you guys want to go check the video out, I would appreciate it and uh, hopefully it helps you. And for my video settings, I got everything on full screen. You want everything on full screen to get the max performance of your game. Um, you can change this to, you can have this on stretch if you want. But I don't, I don't, I was using it, but it, it like messes up my stream, so I don't use it. And uh, resolution is on 1920 by 1080. Brightness is at 50. Field of view is very good. If you have this low, you're not going to see as much as your screen. So let's see. If you have this on 70. If you have this on, wait, no, not that one. 
If you have this on 70, this is what your screen looks like. It's like super zoomed in. You can't see anything around you. So like, look at everything I'm looking at now with it on 70. And then if I switch it back to 110, look how much, look how much change. I can see way over to this side right here from just looking at this. I can see so much more on the screen, so much more on the screen. But it makes it, it may make it harder to see things uh, far away, but it's really, it's, I recommend it. You get to see a lot more in your uh, field of view. V-Sync is off. NVIDIA Reflex is on enabled boost. Adaptive resolution FPS target. Um, I believe this is for like if how many frames your uh, monitor or whatnot can get. You can like cap it off to specifically get that only. But um, I didn't really touch it because I'm not sure exactly what it does. My anti-aliasing, I got it on none. Everything, I got uh, my RAM at 4 gigabytes high. This is the best that I get for my FPS and while streaming and whatnot. But everything else is on low. Everything else is on low in my video settings. And uh, yeah, finally guys, for my audio. I have my master volume at 84 because my headphones are a little loud. So I don't want to be air raping myself. So I keep it on 84. My voice chat is on push to talk because I use Discord to talk to my friends and whatnot. But when I'm in game, I use push to talk, obviously. Um, if you want to just not use push to talk, you have open mic. And you can see like, as I'm talking, the thing is going up. It's just open mic. But I prefer to use push to talk. A lot of people might think you're annoying if you don't use push to talk. <laughs> Incoming voice chat volume, I keep this on 80. Uh, sound effects, 100. Dialogue volume, 100. Music and lobby music, everything down on music. I don't want to hear no music while playing the game. It kind of throws everything off and uh, the music is really loud in this game so yeah I just turned it down guys sound and background I got this on this basically if you leave the application it'll tell you like it'll let, it'll let you know like what's going on in the game like so if you're in a if you're picking your character you can still hear your character if you pick when you're not on the application this is very good if you go if you guys have one monitor or you go AFK and you're not sure what's going on and you're doing something else on your computer and um, it also comes in clutch when you don't want to be when you when you're not sure if you, the game started or not, so like if you're out doing something, grabbing a drink, using the bathroom, whatnot, you can have this on and uh, be off of the application. This is the text to speech, basically. Like if you type something in the chat, the little voice plays it. You want both of these off. So uh, yeah, this is like if someone's voice, you could invert it to uh, the AI or whatever. I would recommend having these both off. They're not helpful. They're not useful. I mean, unless you, I don't know. I don't know what issue or what stance you could be in to like, have these effective for you. i turn them off. You guys could turn them off. Or you can have them on. See what it like. But if you don't like it, you can turn it off. But um, yeah, guys, that's my settings. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um. If you do enjoy the video, leave a like. And if you're new around here, why not hit that subscribe button? And um, yeah, you'll get more videos about Apex Legends, tips, tricks, tutorials, and whatnot. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Don't forget to leave a like. And also, don't forget to check the description for my Twitch where I stream almost every day and every chance and opportunity I get when I'm not working or I'm not doing schoolwork. Uh, I at least stream for two to three hours. And um, yeah, just come by and vibe with me. See me play the game live and experience the growth of this community this amazing community we're building i appreciate you guys support so much and i appreciate you guys showing love and um uh, remember let me know if this video helps you i hope it was helpful and if it wasn't please let me know down below what i can improve on or what i can get better at and um what type of content you guys want to see um i know you guys a lot of you guys like apex legend you come here from apex legend content but i play a lot of other games and i'm getting into a lot of games so just let me know down below if this video is helpful and uh Help me help you guys. Just let me know everything about the video. If you liked it, if you enjoyed it, what you didn't like about it, what I can improve on. But um, without further ado, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. Um, stay awesome. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And peace.